We begin Black History Month tonight with a part of Miami's little known history. Early Miami was the scene of two slave plantations. Now there was an attempt to establish one on Key Biscayne, which failed, but for more than two decades, slavery existed on the Miami River. In fact, what many in South Florida regard as a piece of Miami's pioneer past is actually a historic building that goes way back in time and is a critical component in the story of Black Miami. Here's CBS 4's Hank Tester. Dr. Marvin Dunn feels the pain. So I think about the hands that built this. 1844, built by slaves originally further east on the Miami River, moved in 1925 for preservation. It's one of Miami's most prominent historical buildings. This building was not preserved because it was a slave, uh, slave quarters. It was preserved because it was the first Dade County Courthouse uh, and because it reflected the pioneer era in Miami. So this wasn't to protect black history. This was to advance early white history. So yes, Miami does have a slavery past, a brief past, almost two decades worth, but still a part of history, sitting in the midst of Lummis Park, just west of downtown, slave quarters. Historian, author, former FIU professor, Dr. Marvin Dunn knows the story well, going back to the 1840s. The, the original purpose was to house enslaved people uh, for the plantation owner. Eventually, it was used also to, to house army troops during the Seminole Wars. But basically, it was built by slaves, for slaves, uh, and uh, as you said, it didn't work out very well for them. The rocky soil did not produce crops that would be commercially successful. And then there was the location. Slaves kept running away, west to the Everglades, blending in with the Seminoles, east to the Bahamas, Miami slavery. When these men lived here in this building, 100 of them, and can you imagine um, Miami in the summertime in this building? It was terrible. Here's a Miami slavery timeline. 1830, 50 to 60 plantation slaves brought to Miami. 1838, U.S. troops arrived, lease and establish Fort Dallas. 1844, stone slave quarters are constructed at Fort Dallas by an estimated 100 slaves. 1849, slaves evacuated due to threats by the Seminoles. Later in the 19th century, the building was a flop house, a trading post, and the first Dade County Courthouse. I think people need to know, Hank, that uh, this building has a connection to black history. You wouldn't think that just reading our history books, but this is essential to the understanding of the black presence in Miami. Quite a history in this old building, but most folks never knew it had a connection to slavery. But now you know. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News. And grateful that we do know. Hank, thank you.